Hi everybody. In a prior video, we looked at how to select data in Jump and make use of row states. And we created a chart, which we'll recreate here, uh, that shows literacy rates, LIT versus average year of education. And we're just gonna isolate the data from the United States. So we go to analyze, fit Y by X, and literacy is the thing that we're interested in, in looking at how it varies. So we'll put that as our Y response. And what does it respond to? It responds to the X factor of average years of education. Or so we hope. We hope that the more years of education we have, then the greater the literacy rate will be. And I'm going to just expand this a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. So literacy on the Y axis and AY, average years of education on the X. Now, let's say we want to try to predict or interpolate uh, what literacy rates would be, uh, we can fit a curve. And the downward pointing red arrow here gives us lots of ways of trying to model that. Uh, if we don't think they vary at all, we could just fit a mean value and we can open up this result and see the mean. We saw this in the prior value. The mean value is 93.6 uh, plus or minus 6.15. But obviously, there is some correlation. There's actually a pretty strong correlation. So I'm going to take fit mean and remove that fit because I think we could do better. I think we could describe the data maybe with a line. We could just fit a line. Uh, that explains quite a bit of the variation, I think. Uh, and if we look at the dialog box here in terms of the linear fit, which automatically opens. We can close it if we don't want to see it, but of course we do want to see it. It gives us an equation. This is in the form of y equals mx plus b. Literacy is our y and is equal to, well, it puts the b first. y is equal to b plus m times x. So the b, the y-intercept over here is 64.95 and the uh, m value is 3.81. Now you might say, wait a minute, 64 uh, is 64.95. It looks like we have a y-intercept of something like 80. Uh, but the issue here is this, um, I'm gonna show you how to get there. This horizontal axis does not go to zero. Zero is way out over here somewhere. So if we double click on the x-axis, instead of having it stop at 4.2, we can make it go to zero. And then now you can see that this green line is plunging downwards. We'll need to double click on the Y axis and have it go to, let's say 50% literacy. Now we could see that's the B value. So the B value is always there at 64.95. Jump did get it correct, but we had to adjust the axes if we wanna see how that B axis uh, would plot. And then the slope is 3.81, uh, and that's the M value, what we multiply the X, uh, AY, uh, to calculate literacy. So we can import this equation into Excel. Might as well try doing that now. Uh, we will open up Excel and I'm going to come back to jump. I'm going to come back to literacy rates. And just for reference to make it easy, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy and then go into Excel. And then I'm going to paste that. And it'll just paste it as text. And I'll increase the text so I can get that. So what this equation does is it tells me if I know the average years of literacy, then I should be able to calculate the literacy rates. And I'm going to increase the font on this so it makes it easier to see. So if we want to plot this equation or, or show this equation, we would put in values for AY. I uh, let AY go from uh, zero to, I don't know, 10 years. Let's do it in increments of one. I'll put in a zero and a one. I'll select both of those. I'll move the cursor until it turns into a black X and just go down until I can see that we've hit 10. Oh, let's make it 12 since we have uh, K through 12 education. And then for 
literacy, I'll enter this equation. What is literacy? It equals 64.95. I'm going to put in the 042, just to be very precise, plus 3.816.2064 times AY. And I'll click on the AY. So that's my equation. And here's our model. This is our model of literacy. And then we can select that and go to insert and plot it on an XY chart. So here's our model and we'll insert an XY scatter chart. And that's our line. I'm going to make it into a line instead of having markers. So it's clear that we have a model. And of course, if we want to do a good job on this, what we really should do is um, add some axes and uh, a title if you like. I usually skip the title and just put in axes, but I'm going to skip that for now. I'm going to go back to this chart. Notice that there's a little bit of a curvature. It flattens out a little bit. And so as an alternative model, I might want to instead put something that will have a curve. I could do a polynomial, a quadratic. So that gives us a little bit of a curve. Uh, does it do a better job of describing the data? Well, we could look at the dialog box. Here's the linear fit, and that's the equation we just entered. You could see that it gives a root mean square error. That's the plus or minus. So it predicts the values to a, an R squared of 96 uh, percent. So it's, the, the linear model describes 96 percent of the data and gives a, and it estimates the literacy to plus or minus 1.2 percent. If we scroll down, here's that second model, the blue curve. The blue curve is our polynomial fit with degree two. We get a new equation. We could try entering that into Excel also. Notice that the R squared here is 99. It's describing 99.3 percent of the variation rather than the 96.5 or 96.6 percent described by the linear fit. So it's describing more of the variation. The root mean square error, that's the plus or minus, the error that we attach to the model. And we had a, an error of 1.2 percent. This is an error of just 0.6 percent. So it cut the error in half and described a larger percentage of the data. So if we want to plot this model, what we'll do is I'll select that, edit, copy, just for reference so I know what the equation is rather than going back and forth. I'll do an edit, paste. So this is the literacy. Uh, this is from our linear model. And then what I can do is have another column over here where we have literacy but from a quadratic model. And Let's uh, boost the text size there so we can read it. So the quadratic model says literacy is equal to 66.737814, 66.737814, plus 3.71. 823 times AY, so I'll click on that, minus 0 0.4849135, and multiply that times what? I have to take AY minus 6.70665. And then raise that to the second power. And so I'll fill down. I'll use command click to copy those data. And I'll go edit, paste special, or you can double right click in paste special, do a new series, categories, X values in that row. And then there's the quadratic model in Excel. And let's go back here, go to our chart. So 
we've plotted these two models, we've generated the two models using jump, we've gone back to Excel uh, so we can create a nicer looking graph. What about these data? How can we get those data into Excel? Um, it's going to be kind of messy, but I'll show you how to do it. It's going to be messy because we've got a lot of blank cells we don't need. I'm going to select this bottom row of the United States, and then I'm going to shift click all of the data we are interested in. I don't need the code or population. I'm just going to pick year, literacy, and AY. I'm going to shift click on all of those. So that's the data. Well, I guess I want to know what entity it's from. So I'll shift click on all those. Maybe I'll command click here because I don't really need the code. So what I've done, I've selected only the rows in the United States and I've selected only those columns that I'm interested in. And I'm going to do command copy and then I'm going to come back to Excel if I can find the Excel window. And in a different window over here, I'm going to do paste and all of that data is carried over. I've got blank cells where I have no data, but uh, what I can do is just go through and delete those. Notice that, so I'm gonna delete some of these data that I don't want. Well, that's gonna take some time to clean this up. What I need to do here though, is I need to insert a row that gives me what these values are. So the entity is the country. Well, I already know that it's a country because it says USA, but I want to remind myself, what is this? That's the year. This is the literacy rate, and this is AY, the average years. So I've pasted over the data. What Jump does not do it, is it doesn't carry over the labels, so I have to insert those uh, myself. But if I want to graph these data, I'll just scroll down and do an edit copy and then come back to the chart that we created here and go to edit paste special again a new series category x values in a new column and well uh, it did some odd reformatting we don't need to oh maybe we do We don't want this to go out to uh, 100 because we don't have 100 years of education. So we'll make it stop at 20 for average years of education. And now it doesn't look like the data plotted in there. I'm a little bit afraid that what happened is they probably plotted as points in a white font. So I think we'll come back to cleaning that up a little bit later. We'll try it one more time here. We'll try plotting the data. Yeah, I think they're, Excel's having a little bit trouble importing the data. So I think we're gonna stop here and look at, a, uh, look at some other tricks that we can do in Excel later once, once that Excel issue gets cleaned up. But anyway, the bottom line is um, we want you to be able to create models in Jump and then re-import both the data and the equations into Excel so you can plot them and minus any glitches in the Excel program itself, as we've seen here, make some nice looking graphs that you can put into a report or a publication.